Okay, in this week's video, Nana Madsen, first time winner this week on the LPGA Tour with the playoff win, making a million birdies. Great win for her, congratulations. Let's take a look here. First with the driver, and we will see a beautiful wind up. Very powerful player, 280 average, very long on the tour. Spends a lot of time working out in the gym and it really pays off. As you can see, as she loads it up, just sitting into those legs as she winds it. Watch how those legs get active right there, just sitting straight down. And there's that power. So a big change in the leg angles in transition. Super flexible. I mean, amazing. Look at where the hips and knees are already. Shoulder still at 90. Yeah, it's an incredible amount of flex flexibility. Upper body versus lower. And the trick really here is getting that upper half to unwind quick enough. Because when you get that open, if you get stuck with that upper body, you can get time. At, at times, the club's going to fly off the plane this way. It's tougher to control. You know, that driver under the plane slightly just smashing it down the middle. And she does take a rip at it. I mean, she holds nothing back. But great lines here. Love the takeaway. And that power move. Like I said, this is a player that obviously spends a lot of time working on speed, and it is paying off. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like button as well. The like button really helps the channel grow, so thank you so much for that. Looking here at approach shot. Great setup. Not too much flex in the knees at this point. Very soft-looking posture. Does not look rigid in any way, which I really like that. Enough sort of postural integrity to keep the body working right but not ultra straight where you see that spine sometimes ultra straight here which can be a little bit tough for players to move inside of all that tension in there so keeping that soft look like a lot of great players get slightly lower on the takeaway left arm right along the shoulder plane club dead on plane like I said at this point Right forearm dead on the plane and the legs clearing, hips clearing. And look at that right dead smack on the plane. And like I said, as hard as she swings, there are going to be some times where, you know, you can't put all of your might into every shot. If you do, you'll end up coming off that plane, sending the club off to the right, which hits pushes and hooks for these great players. But this week, wow, just, you know, in terms of keeping that club on the plane, clearly this week. She was looking like these types of angles were easy to achieve. If you're a player looking to get your club on plane through impact and you're struggling, one thing you might watch for is how is your left leg working? So if her, in her case, if this leg works its way around and then straightens and the weight gets into the heel, then it's very easy for her to clear. If she starts to jump and push too much pressure in the front of the foot, that will stall the hips out stall the upper body and the club flies off the plane so trying to get that left leg to totally clear get the weight to the heel and you can see that a lot of players you see the inside of the toe lifting up as you get that full rotation that left leg straight at the finish of course we've mentioned it in other videos as well but in these approach shots when a player is rotating well that week staying in posture that club handle will get back on the plane and the longer that handle tracks to the left along the plane the better but it tends to hit you know gets more club face control less flip and rotation at the bottom when it goes in like i said for her being as flexible as she is those shoulders can stay closed too long sometimes it's hard for her to get rotated through it's hard to get the handle to the left this week dead on there's that left leg dead straight as we saw in the last clip just amazing swing Okay, let's finish up this video with a fairway wood. Just hitting everything solid this week. Even though it looks like the shoulders are a little open, probably very helpful for getting here cleared out. Up that plane, sitting in those legs. I mean, look how much lowering she has in the legs there in transition. If you're working on your speed and you're not working on your leg pressure, you're probably struggling to get more club head speed and creating way too much energy with upper body and arms. With these great players, the legs are doing the work. Hips open. Clearing into that left leg. Just tremendous form, and I can't wait to watch 
how well she plays now that she's gotten her breakthrough into 2022. And on a side note, looking at her putting, I uh, love this view of the putting. Perfect angle. If you look at the setup, eyes obviously directly over the ball, perfectly symmetrical. And the club shaft just barely leaning forward. And if you watch as she comes through, she does have beautiful putting stroke, a tiny bit of hinge in the backswing, and then just pushing those hands forward. And watch how the handle does not slow down whatsoever. It just keeps moving forward this way, which helps keep that face dead square through impact. And of course this week, making a ton of birdies. Beautiful technique, great stroke. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Nana Madsen, once again, big congrats to her on the victory. Thank you so much.